So today I'm working on the uh, customer's uh, it's a Data East Simpsons power supply. This one here uh, was low on 5 volts. This one had a major catastrophe. Let me make sure I'm on frame here. So you can see something kind of blew up. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to quickly go over what happened on the original board and what I'm doing to fix the current board or the new one that we're going to put in. Stick around. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been? I've been stuck with Black Ball. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp Waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes Score we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster can ask my baby, it starts slow then gets faster. I'm a record setter. My... So this board, somewhere in this section, had the major catastrophe. Focus in a little bit. Uh, looks like this transistor. There's a resistor in the middle there, some diodes. Another uh, resistor there. And... Looks like that chip there might have been saved. Uh, what actually was the problem, and you can see right here, this fuse is blown. This fuse was, uh, it's supposed to be a quarter amp fuse, and they had an eight amp fuse in there. So it definitely was way, way over fused. And aside from that, all these other ones over here are slightly over fused, but they're 32 volts. They're not even the proper fuses either. I don't remember what these were over here, but I, there was no point in checking by the time I got that far. Let's check in on the, uh, the new board that we're going to use for them. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little better here. Okay, so this cap that was right here. See if I still have it. Yeah, it read that it was bad. No, no part unknown. Let me see if I can focus this in here. And it's a little nasty at the bottom, but it had leaked all over the board. It actually had come through. Back up a little bit. It actually had come through this. Uh, spot where they have the zip tie to hold that big capacitor in and leak there but it had, it had leaked all the way across it leaked over onto this this fuse down here onto uh this diode which ended up being bad i changed it pulled it out it was shorted and i checked the resistor that's right next to it which was fine and these were okay, these two diodes, they were okay, even though they had a little bit of corrosion. And then, so next I'm gonna check these two transistors that are, or transistors, I do this all the time. These two tiny resistors underneath this blue cap here. Okay, so this is the one, the diode that I changed. This resistor was fine. And then I'm gonna check these two next, and they look fine. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems. And then I am going to move on and cap, replace this cap here, this cap here. And I did check this one, and this one's okay. And I need to check these three aside from that. And, and these two are definitely going to get changed. But I think after that, I also I, I reflowed all the, the header pins. And another thing that, that happens with these, uh, these power supplies from Data East is the connect the the uh, Molex connector that goes on these header pins? Sometimes uh, they're faulty and need to be repinned. Unfortunately, I don't have the game, so I can't take care of that on my end today. But I can let the customer know if he's still having a problem. He needs to check that as well. But I'm going to continue to 
work on this and continue to watch a little football and we'll check back in here in a few minutes. Let's just go over, let me stay on the other side so I don't stand in the light. Let's just go over exactly uh, what I checked, what I went over, and so that if you're at home, you can check the same thing here. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, reflow the solder on all the header pins or replace them if you have bad ones. Just going over here. Um, so we did have some cracked solder joints. Uh, let's see. On CN2 and where was the other one? Let's see. Maybe it was this guy here. Okay, so CM1 and CM2, we had some cracked solder joints. Um, another thing you want to check, even if you go through all this stuff and, and it doesn't fix your, your 5 volt problem, you want to check the, uh, the bridge rectifier that's mounted inside the uh, back box. Because um, if that's not supplying proper 12 volts, you're probably not going to get your proper, your proper 5 volts out of this. The culprit on this board was the capacitor at C2. Now, let me see what this is and I'll tell you the value. It is 100 microfarads, 25 volts. Now this guy leaked and I, I would assume that the board was like this, but the leakage kind of ran sideways. It took out, uh, well it didn't take it out, but it was all over this, this fuse that was here, which was an improper fuse. So I, I did correct that and it came up to this top spot up here and started taking out diodes and resistors so to list those off um, i did check d2 and d3 and they were okay um, d4 was bad um, the, these resistors were all fine here this cap was okay um, this cap was bad and that was at c3 and then we had uh, d9 D10 and R11 that needed replaced and the previous owner uh, replaced TR3 and oh and we did TR1 as well needed to be replaced the and the other thing that should get the the 5 volts there the other thing you need to check is well first of all make sure that the proper fuses are in here because that was a, the major problem on the other board over there but take your meter and you make sure your fuse is good and then check continuity from your your fuse clips and make sure that you're getting really good continuity not just through the fuse but all the way through the whole fuse clip on each one because if it's not not getting you know good continuity that could also drag you down there but i think this will get it and so we are ready to ship this back out to the customer mm, stay tuned for tomorrow i don't know what i'm working oh you know what tomorrow i think aside we have a lot of Aside from that, I think uh, I think this one, it's the Neotech is the one I have to get out next. And yep, that's it there. And so I already got all the parts in for that, so uh, I might pull the chassis before I leave tonight. Just depends on uh, how much time I have and what I have going on. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Why am I going to get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.